what Liverpool's midfield will look like this season. I mean, we all know who Liverpool have at playing in midfield, but it kind of leaves us to think who are the number one, two, three, four. It leaves you to kind of think who's the first choice, second choice, third choice midfielders in Jurgen Klopp's team. So I thought it'd be useful to look over the midfielders that Klopp has at his disposal and to analyze these players for the upcoming season. Now, if you simply just look at the Wikipedia page for Liverpool for the upcoming season, eight midfielders listed on the squad roster. Fabinho, Thiago, James Milner, Naby Keita, Jordan Henderson, Ox Oxley chamberlain Curtis Jones, and Harvey Elliott are all listed as Liverpool's midfielders for the upcoming season. And there is talk that Fabio Cavarlo could move into midfield if needed, but I kind of see him more as uh, an attacking player playing on either the left or the right. But uh, we also have Roberto Firmino, who is an attacking player, plays as a center forward. But he did come up through Hoffenheim, uh, playing sometimes as an attacking midfielder or a second striker. So there is the possibility, depending on the way Liverpool want to play, that Firmino could drop back into the midfield if necessary. Now, we've got these eight midfielders, and we can already say that Fabinho, Thiago, and Jordan Henderson are the three first-choice midfielders if Liverpool play a 4-3-3 formation. Then we've got, I would say, Naby Keita is Liverpool's fourth choice midfielder and would step in for either one of those players due to injury, fitness, or for rotation. Then for me, Harvey Elliott would be Liverpool's fifth choice midfielder. Elliott was brilliant last season playing prior to that injury, that massive injury that he suffered at Ellen Road against Leeds United. And Elliot was keeping Thiago out of the side at that time. Thiago obviously had some injury issues and some fitness issues, but Elliot's form was so good at the start of the season that everyone was raving. And it's really easy to forget about that now because uh, of what happened the rest of the way of the season. Thiago had a brilliant second half of the season once he got fit and once he came back in. And Liverpool, you know, fought for four trophies. So it's easy to forget because it was so long ago that Harvey Elliot had started the season in brilliant form. So I think Elliot is going to get a lot of playing time this season. He's the new number 19. He picked up that shirt this season. He's not going to wear that, that 67 shirt anymore. Uh, and then Alex Oxley chamberlain a lot of question marks around him. Will he stay or will he go? I don't see him going. I see Liverpool keeping him because that's what they want to do. They don't have any reason to sell him because Liverpool want to address the midfield in 12 months' time. So keeping Alex Oxley chamberlain allows Liverpool to have him for 12 more months before allowing him to go on a free contract. Then we have James Milner, who has signed another one-year contract, a contract extension. And really, it's a wild card for Milner, whether he will stay with Liverpool again uh, for another season after the upcoming campaign. Uh, but Milner, again, gives such so much to Liverpool. Milner gives so much to Liverpool, even at 36 years old, and he'll turn 37 in January of next year. He's a player that can play multiple positions. He's a player that is not only a leader on the pitch, but he has delivered when needed as well. Now, this leaves me with Curtis Jones, and I think this is a make-or-break season for Curtis Jones. Jones is 21 years old. He'll turn 22 in January, and he's had plenty of opportunities at Liverpool, but we haven't seen Jones really kick on from the impressive start that he made. Now, we all remember a few years ago when Jones had that fantastic goal in the FA Cup against Everton, and really we've been waiting for him to, to kick on since then. He's, he's put in some good minutes occasionally, but it's too inconsistent. And I'm not sure about anybody else, but every time I see Curtis Jones you know, pick up the ball around the 18-yard box. I just anticipate him taking a shot from outside of the area and to basically try to emulate Steven Gerrard. I feel like he's got a Steven Gerrard complex in which Jones is always trying to pull off the miraculous goals from outside the area rather than working the ball into the penalty area and uh, trying to get a shot from closer. Uh, Jones, uh, you know, it, it's quite frustrating to watch him because a lot of his shots seem to come from outside the area. Now, last season, Jones only appeared in 15 games, scoring one goal and adding one assist. And to be honest, he's never been a real big goal scorer for the Reds. He's only scored one goal in each of the last three Premier League seasons, and uh, his expected goals uh, figure has been very low. He only had a 0.83 expected goals rate last season, and of course, he had one real goal. And a quick search of the Understat website shows that Jones took 14 shots from outside the penalty area last season uh, that were all misses or blocks or saved, uh, while he only had five shots 
that were missed, blocked, or saved from inside the penalty area. So Jones's goals are not going to increase with these speculative shots from well outside of the penalty area. And like I said again, I think this is a huge year for Jones. And to be honest, I think maybe Liverpool missed something with Jones. They loaned out Harvey Elliott a couple of seasons ago to Blackburn Rovers for the second half of the campaign, and that really helped Harvey Elliott. It helped him mentally. It helped him with his confidence. It helped him. Uh, it, it helped him physically to be able to step up to to the intensity of of senior football as a teenager. Jones didn't have that. Jones was a player who was in the academy and in the youth teams who was able to move up through the teams, was basically the best player as he continued to go up without necessarily being challenged by going on a loan move away from Liverpool. And I think Liverpool have maybe missed missed the chance to help him develop by not sending him out on a loan previously. Uh, would a loan benefit him now? Yeah, it possibly could. Uh, and I think that Jones, for me, is well down the, the depth chart there at Liverpool uh, in the midfield. And I think that this season, again, is going to be a make or break for him. He was missing a lot of the times last year. If he wasn't injured, he was left out of the team. And this year, he really needs to step it up to ensure that he's going to be at Liverpool for the future, especially if Liverpool are in the market and able to sign Jude Bellingham next season, perhaps Arda Guler, or another midfielder in 2023. Now, he'll get some chances this year, but he's got to make the most of them, which I don't think he's done over the last three seasons. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here today, talking about Liverpool's midfield. Let me know what you think about Liverpool's midfield in the coming season. I know a lot of you are going to be a bit down on it because Liverpool haven't added to the midfield this season or this offseason. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. Let me know who you think is going to have a big year of Liverpool's midfielders, their current midfielders. And let me know who you think that Liverpool should be targeting in the transfer market. I know I would be excited for Jude Bellingham to arrive in 2023, and I'm sure a lot of you would be too. My social media handles are in the description below, so find those and you can follow me on social media as well as, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel lately. We've had a lot of new subscribers and it's great because you're helping me grow this channel and I really appreciate that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and help me grow this channel together. And also, of course, please hit that thumbs up to like the video, share on social media, and I will see you guys next time here on Liverpool Reds FC blog.